Hey there, Lumber Lovers! Get ready to have your minds blown as we unveil the top five misnomers about softwood firewood. You've probably heard through generations of horror stories that pine is dangerous. But is that really true? We're gonna dive into this topic and give you our top five arguments that would have your grandpa rolling in his grave. So stick around to the end where we have a bonus tip waiting for you. So don't go anywhere. All right guys, let's dive right into the heart of the pine debate. Can you safely burn pine in your fireplace? It's a hot issue with arguments on both sides. That's true. But here's the thing. We're gonna show you why pine is fine. When you understand creosote, you're gonna understand burning in fireplaces so much more. Mm -hmm. What is creosote? Creosote, that evil fire starter that everyone is worried about. We're gonna talk about BTUs, and of course, we're gonna talk about good burning practices. You wouldn't believe how many customers come into my shop and request hardwoods because they are afraid to burn softwoods. So what about those areas that only pine is available in? What do those people do for firewood? You guessed it, they burn pine all year round. Let's face it, there are some people who live in areas where burning softwood is their only option. While softwoods may have a lower BTU rating, there are still many ways to use them to maintain a good hot fire and safely burn them. From using smaller, well-seasoned pieces to maintaining a hot fire. Before we go on, you need to understand this first. Pine isn't the only type of firewood that creates creosote. All wood can create creosote. That's right, all wood. I would say that any species of firewood can create creosote. If you're trying to burn green oak, like this is oak here, this is dry, but if this were green and you were burning it, boy, it would make creosote in your chimney for sure because this is not burning hot enough. I've burned for many, many years in my house, and I mean, other than just a thin little coating of creosote on the chimney, I mean, that's all I've ever had. But I'm always burning dry wood, and that helps a lot. Even hardwoods could lead to creosote buildup in your chimney. So I guess the big question is, what is creosote, Kyle? <laughs> what is it? So, what is creosote? You don't know what it is? It's a buildup of ash. Right, right. So when wood, when wood burns, it actually turns into a gas, right? Yep. So that's when the flames actually ignite. In fact, if you look in a stove sometimes, you'll see like flames are dancing around the top. They're not even on the wood. Creosote is unburnt gases, so it recondenses in your chimney and builds up this nasty, black, highly flammable creosote goop, right? It's all creosote build up there along the walls of the boiler in here. And at some point it builds up, and then if you get a hot enough fire, say, you know, it's built up, you get a really hot fire, that creosote gets hot again, what does it do? It boom, lights right up. So whether you're burning pine, oak, or maple, or whatever, regular chimney maintenance is important to keep those fires burning safely. Here's a little bit of a tip for you. Hotter fires burn cleaner and they create less creosote. The idea of a good, clean burn. Well, there's kind of a sweet spot for your fire to burn. Hot enough to burn clean, but not so hot that it's you know, too hot for your stove and your chimney. And what is a good, clean burn? It's a hot fire. And hardwoods tend to burn hotter, longer. So that's one of the reasons why a lot of people prefer hardwoods over softwoods. Which is the main reason why people think hardwoods is the way to go. Remember, it's not about the heat. It's all about proper airflow, regular cleaning, and safe burning practices that keep your chimney right. So Kyle, how are we gonna get higher BTUs? I don't know. <laughs> well, here's a revelation that may catch you off guard. It's not just about what type of wood you burn, it's also how dry it is. So if you're trying to burn green wood, like this block of wood here is green, in your wood stove, you gotta have a, the fire is gonna use all its energy into, into getting rid of the water in the wood and it's not gonna get any heat. Your heat's gonna go into the water trying to evaporate it and get it out of your wood stove. So you don't have a very hot fire because the water prevents it from getting hot. You get steam in there, it doesn't work. You get good dry wood, that's gonna burn really well. You don't have to get rid of the moisture and you get really nice heat out of it. Firewood that is wet or green will produce a lower BTU and lower temperatures, which in turn will create more creosote buildup in your flue. So it's important to know that the drier the firewood that you put in your fireplace, the better and more safer in turn. Now, oak is a dense wood. 
I've had guys tell me that, you know, if you are burning the same amount or same weight in oak and pine, it's really the same BTUs. But the thing is, oak is a much denser energy source, right? Wet or green wood produces way less BTUs. I mean, your fire doesn't burn hot and it is, and you guessed it, slower and lower temperatures make for way more creosote buildup. Now that we know that burning green wood is not a very good idea at all whatsoever, it's important to emphasize that burning well-seasoned dry wood like this is crucial to prevent creosote buildup. Make sure that you use a moisture meter to check your firewood. Make sure that it is optimally dry. You could do a simple Google search to check and find out what is the optimal dryness for your firewood in your fireplace. So, we suggest that you invest in a moisture meter and make sure that your firewood is bone dry before you light up. Wood with more water in it will create more creosote. So I would say the drier the safer. Perfect. Please don't sue us. Make sure you do research and... They're not gonna sue us. No, they're not. But still, make sure you're doing research first before you uh, decide to burn pine. Make sure you're doing it right, you know. Ask a trusted professional and get in, get educate yourself first before you start doing silly, stupid things. So there you have it, folks. Our top five firewood myths are broken. Thanks for joining us on this enlightening journey. But wait, before you go, remember our bonus tip? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Well, we have it here in our slab wood for firewood video where we reveal that tip for you. We also show you the entire process of how we create our slab wood bundles. And how you can transform it into a safe firewood product to heat your home. Go forth and educate the public. Tell them that pine is fine. Sawdust on my nipples. Sawdust on my nipples.